Hello students, we'll discuss some problem from uh, chain rule, okay, exercise number 5.2. Uh, these 10 problem definitely will help you to understand exactly what you mean by chain rule. Uh, there are two methods, one method already, okay, you learned in the last modules or not last videos where you took some examples of the extending chain rule and the basic concepts, okay. Now, next method is you can directly write the answer also, okay. I'll solve this using both method, observe carefully, for only for the first problem. For the next problems, I'll solve directly without writing those u and v, okay. Observe carefully. What is first method, y is equal to sin u, u is equal to x square plus 5. You already saw 6 examples, so you know this. So, dy by dx is equal to differentiation of sin u is cos u, differentiation of x square plus 5 is how much? 2x plus differentiation of 5 constant so it is 0 so it is cos u what is u x square plus 5 into 2x right this is a basic method which you learn in the first six examples now I'll show you how to write this answer directly without writing u and v you can directly write the answer observe this carefully or this is the same problem remember that sine of x square plus 5 you can write this answer in one step and you must practice that because you may not get time to write all this in exam you must practice to write directly observe carefully dy by dx is equal to i'll tell you what is the logic used in this procedure what is the logic used in this particular procedure see this procedure says that always start by i'll always start the differentiation by taking the outside function which is the outside function here sine what is the differentiation of sine cos just keep as it is whatever the inside sign write as it is without changing okay then this rule says that after differentiating outside function differentiate inside function what is the inside function x square plus 5 what is the differentiation of x square plus 5 2x plus 0 that is no need right see you can get in one step and I suggest or you must follow okay this method only for the, all the problem because you may not get time to write all this in exam okay you must practice because maybe you will get this for one mark this much is not required directly you can keep the answer remaining nine question you are going to write answer in one step you are not going to write u and v remember that start dy by dx equal to see first you should practice I'll wait for a second yeah maybe you started I'll write now check your answer which outside function cos what is differentiation of cos minus sine first write like this what we have inside cos it is not simple x it is sine x so it will come as it is don't differentiate and write just write as it is understood ha next what differentiation of inside function what is the difference inside function sine x what is the derivative of sine x cos x done no bracket required finish don't write this as a minus sine square x into cos x this is not there because this will not multiply sine of sine x remember that it is only minus of minus sine of sine x into cos x i hope you understood yeah next i hope you solved this already right what is the differentiation of sine cos as I told, whatever there inside it, it will come as it is. Then differentiate ax plus b. Remember, a and b constant. In differentiation, except x and y, remaining all the English alphabets will be considered as a constant. Remember that. So, a and b constant. What is differentiation of a into x? a into differentiation of x, which is 1. So, it is only a. Differentiation of b, which is constant, is 0. So, what is the answer? Cos of ax plus b into a. I hope you understood. As I told, this is the heart of the derivatives. Remember that. If this part is not understood, remaining different derivatives part, it's very, very difficult to understand. Please remember, okay? If you have any doubt, definitely you can contact me, okay, through a personal number. Remember that. Because if you have any doubt in this, next concept of derivatives is very difficult. Yeah, next. Fourth one. Now, when you compare the fourth one with the first three, what is the difference you can see tell me yeah in first three how many functions are combined two two function here how many functions are combined one two and three again same logic you can use which i used in the last three problem no need to write u v w okay remember that what is the logic 
फर्स्ट यू हैव टू ऑलवेज डिफरेंशिएट आउटसाइड फंक्शन आउटर मोस्ट फंक्शन हां हियर अ बेटर वर्ड इज आउटर मोस्ट बिकॉज़ इफ हियर आई आउटसाइड इनसाइड दैट्स इट बट हियर वी हैव थ्री ओके डिफरेंट फंक्शंस सो व्हिच इज आउटर मोस्ट फंक्शन सेकंड व्हाट इज डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ सेकंड राइट सेकंड एक्स इनटू tan x right now ha now whatever that inside secant x it will come as it is it is tan of root x into tan of tan root x understood first derivative of secant x first derivative secant x into tan x then i'll write down next derivative of tan x next inside function next inside function is tan what is the differentiation of tan secant square x whatever there inside tan it will come as it is root x and last the outer sorry innermost function which is innermost function root x what is the differentiation of root x 1 by 2 root x done if you write u v w then it will be very lengthy so this is better and this is allowed and this is you have to practice remember that so which is the first one outermost function next outermost innermost if it is 3 and if if it is more than 3 also same logic i hope you understood ha huh. next tell me how many functions are there here how many functions are combined just just think about it i'll give you a second just think about it Are you going to count this as a one function, outer function? No, it's just a constant. It will not trouble you. Now start counting. It is important. One, two, and this three. So how many functions are combined? Three functions. In which which is outermost function root, which is innermost function x square. In between what we have cot. So just follow the same order. D y by d x is equal to. What to do with this two? Two is just a constant, so it will come as it is, right? Ha. Huh. Then derivative of root x. What is the derivative of root x? One by two root x. Instead of x, what we have? Cot of x square, right now. So this done. Outermost derivative is done. Next derivative of next outermost. That is cot. What is derivative of cot? Ha! Huh. When our minus comes, put bracket. Otherwise, it will come as a two function. Cosecant square of x. Instead of x, what we have? X square. So this is also done. Last one is remaining, which is the innermost function. What is that? Derivative of x square. What is derivative of x square? Two x. Done. Simplification you can do like this. Two two get cancelled. Just rearrangement. No, okay. There is no much simplification. So final answer is minus two x. Again, don't multiply these two. This is inside this. This is outside this. Remember, minus two x into cosecant square of x square divided by root of cot of x square. No more simplification required. I hope you understood. First, count how many functions are combined. If you have that idea, you are not going to miss out any derivatives. If you don't know that there are three functions are combined, maybe you just counted two. Hundred percent out of these three, you are going to miss one derivative. If you miss one derivative in this procedure, zero mark because uh, you are writing. Okay, you are you are going uh, you are doing the differentiation or derivative in the first step only. If you miss any step here from the first step, everything is wrong, so you will not get any mark. so be careful first count how many terms are how many functions are combined then start derive q okay ha next sixth one how many functions are combined cos and root so just two function which is outermost function cos so what is the derivative of cos minus sin of root x into yeah derivative of root x which is equal to 1 by 2 root x So already six problems solved. Now whenever I write answer to this question, you should be one step ahead of me. Remember that. Please do practice that. Before I write, you should write that step in your work workbook. Okay? Ha. Huh. Next one. Ha. Huh, this is little difficult. Why this is difficult? Because product and composite both are there. Up to now, up to now, you just applied chain rule. Here, product rule is required as well as chain rule is required. Observe this carefully. Now, um, directly you can start differentiating. Nothing to worry. First, which rule you should use? Tell me. Chain rule or product rule? Outside function is which one? Product. 
inside that we have composition so first product rule then chain rule so what is the product rule remember this is u this full thing is u this full thing is v so what is the product rule u into that is cos of x cube into differentiation of sin square of x to the power 5 plus sin square of x to the power 5 divided by uh, sorry into differentiation of cos of x cube what we did now we just applied product rule differentiation is not started remember that now it is equal to cos of x cube right sin square huh, be careful here tell me how many functions are combined sin definitely you can see that square then x power 5 what is the order order is first square then sin then x to the power 5 observe carefully see if, like this sin square of x to the power 5 is nothing but sin of x to the power 5 whole power 2 okay huh. so which out of out of most function 2 what is the differentiation of 2x uh, x square is 2x right huh. 2 times sin of x to the power 5 right then differentiation of sin cos of x to the power 5 then 5 into x to the power 4 so this is the differentiation of first term i'll write below next differentiation plus sin square of x to the power 5 as it is huh, cos of x cube is, is simple outside cos inside x cube that is minus sin of x cube into 3x square that's it no need to simplify don't worry where is the final answer this will be the final answer i hope you understood cos of x cube 2 times sin of x to the power 5 into cos of x to the power 5 into 5x power 4 plus sin square of x to the power 5 will come as this minus sin of x cube into 3x square in last question you first applied product rule then chain rule in next question observe carefully it is first quotient of two function then composite function so which is your first rule quotient rule i hope you remember quotient rule huh. so this problem you have to start by applying quotient rule first dy by dx what is the quotient rule cos square of cx plus d uv square v into derivative of u right what is derivative of sine of ax plus b using chain rule ha huh. cos of ax plus b into into derivative of ax plus b what is the derivative of ax plus b a understood now chain rule i am applying remember differentiation of sine is cos Deriv derivative of ax plus b is b sorry a minus sine of ax plus b into what is derivative of cos minus sin so i will make this plus i hope you understood into cos of cx plus d into c into c what is c that that c is nothing but derivative of cx plus d okay ha. so here maybe simplification is not possible just keep as it is this is enough don't worry about simplification because no, nowhere it is asked simplify it is just asked find derivative i hope you understood ha. next question last two problem from chain rule see next one y is equal to sine of cos of x square is again a very basic problem simple basic problem these are a little difficult but next two problems are very basic just count how many functions are combined one two three okay so answer is dy by dx is equal to what is derivative of sine cos remaining thing i write as it is right now then derivative of cos minus sine of x square then derivative of x square 2x that's it, simple because after solving all this problem this is nothing simple okay and just to conclude this part i'm solving one more because already solved same type of problem let it be number 10 is okay so dy by dx is equal to which is out of outside function root what is derivative of root 
1 by 2 root x instead of x what we have sine of root x right now then derivative of sine cos then derivative of root x 1 by 2 root x understood these are the 10 problems from composite function derivatives or chain rule problems so practice again all these problems first okay in next class we i'm going to take our next video i'm going to take new techniques of differentiation for those new techniques of differentiation 100 percent these things are required so as i told and i'm going to repeat again this is an important exercise important concept of derivatives please remember chain rule compulsory for everyone if you don't know chain rule next part of derivatives never possible so please practice again these 10 problems and already i solved six problems six examples in the previous video okay so learn those six problems more than enough. I hope you understood. Thank you.